Just let him get position on the black. Just red out of the way, certainly an advantage. Going up for the blue, but he's short of pace. As we say so many times, when you've got to go up for the blue, it's imperative you get the right angle to bring you down to the business end. He can't do that now, so he's looking for a mid-distance red. Looking for some way he needs to leave the cue ball to leave himself in the, the right corner. Good news and bad news. Good news is great shot. He's on the black nicely. The bad news is he's just not those two reds safe, which means it's going to be a problem should he go on to win the frame at this visit. Looking going back to Telford, there's a lot of things that have changed, John. He's had his hair dyed to the old peroxide blonde again. <coughs> Excuse me, he's also had some what looks like some sort of tape put on his butt. And that wasn't there at Telford. Now, whether he's done that for, for grip or just to thicken the butt of the queue up, I don't know. Can't quite tell there the extent of the tape, but when he's not leaning over the tape, we'll be able to show you that a lot more clear. A lot of players have tape on, John, and uh, I myself do, and I did it just purely to thicken the butt up. But this looks a tape that's not like a masking tape. It looks um, almost like a cloth tape. Yes, it looks like something you put on a tennis racket. The only disadvantage that uh, he found in, uh, in his last match it happened, because of that taping, he can't use the normal extension, which most players rely on quite a lot nowadays. 34. But obviously he feels comfortable. And this is the best form consistently that I've seen him produce. He's an 35. excellent player. And those two awkward reds you were talking about, Willie, they're going to be open now. He's got the perfect angle on the black. This is certainly a frame winning opportunity. And hasn't he taken them well? He's a little bit awkward here. 42. He wants to be hampered by the. The red, I much prefer to have had a, well, free shot at the white. And you can just get by it without really raising the butt. Well, I'm certainly showing Ronnie O'Sullivan that he's still in as good a form as he was yesterday. It's up to Ronnie now to respond. Long look at the scoreboard. He's 37 points in front at the moment. So this black and one more red. There you see it, 44 ahead, 51 50. remaining. Pot the red to go 45 ahead with only 43 left. Looks a formality. This helps that the yellow is not on its spot because there you saw the cue ball travel right over the top of the yellow spot, so it didn't have to impart any side on that positional shot. 64. And as John has already suggested, Quinton Hand is looking very good form, and I think this is a big frame for him, John. The fact that when he was 4 2 in front, he had Ronnie on the rack and let him go. And of course he's had a night to reflect on it. He wouldn't have slept that 65. well, I wouldn't have thought, last night, having 
only leveled at 4-4 when he should have perhaps won the session 5-3 or 6-2. So this is a very good performance. Yeah, the only thing I would say that he did play well and he's played well all week. And you, we've got to remember, compared with someone like Ronnie O'Sullivan, of course, that Quinton is quite inexperienced. He doesn't get to the final stage of the tournament. So he's playing here in the cold room with all the pressure and he's producing the good. So that should make him feel pretty good. He did it yesterday and he's doing it today. And Ronnie O'Sullivan, there's no doubt about it, Gonna have a battle on his hands. Well, the expectant crowd are almost spellbound with what's happening here. The standard of this match is staying the same, and a chance of a century break Seven in the years. very, very first frame. Look at those. They've come probably wondering what's going to happen off the table as well as on the table but these two players have both kept well within themselves but it's a shame Quinton the century Hall. break is not going to happen the break comes to a premature end at 78 but it's Quinton Han who once again goes into a one frame lead at 5-4 John it's always strange you know for, for somebody like Quinton as you've just alluded to the fact that he's just come over here He's got a friend with him, actually, who plays on the, on the uh, tournament circuit, and that may have helped, because every time he's come over to this country, he's always been on his own, had nobody with him, and sometimes that can be a problem. Oh, I always think it's a decidedly different.